Hey guys, it's me Masik Tech and this is Motorola Moto 2014 first generation. So it's the old hardware piece of tech and the device was launched with Android KitKat at that time and later it get Android Lollipop update. That's it. Thereafter you need to install some custom ROMs like Marshmallow Series 14 which is based on Android Nougat, Series 13 based on Android Marshmallow. So I already made the video how you can install that one in the Motorola Moto. So now the latest Android is Android Nougat and you can install also in this device because unofficially Sinus 14 is available for this device. So today in this video I will show you how you can install Sinus Mode 14 based on Android Nougat on this Motorola Moto. So without any further ado, let's start. So this is the Motorola Moto first generation. So it's currently running on Sinus Mode 13 based on Android Marshmallow and let me show you in the settings which is in the about phone it is running 6.0.1 marshmallow so first of all let's enable that advanced reboot option by tapping the build number seven times to enable the developer option and going to the developer option again and there we will see advanced reboot option just turn it on to directly go to recovery or bootloader mode so no need to apply the key combination and also you can allow the usb debugging from there now make sure the battery must be charged up to 80% or more and make sure to back up your photos, contacts etc. Sync it in Google account or everything. And also you need to download Sunage Mode 14 and Gaps. Both the links in the description box so no need to worry about that. And which version of Gap you need to install also the name is written with the link. So next we go to the recovery mode. Just hold the power button, go to reboot and go to the recovery directly. But if you are on a stock ROM and you don't have this option, you can apply another thing which is that hold the power button for about 10 to 15 seconds until the device turned off. When the device turned off, then immediately press both the volume keys. Now you will see the boot or remote in about 6 to 8 seconds. You can use this option in boot loop problem. Just hold the power button and then you can use both the volume keys to go to the boot or remote. You can watch the video how to install TWRP recovery, link in my description box. And also make sure to backup of your current ROM. If anything goes wrong, then you can restore this backup. Now swipe to backup. And then you need to wipe. Go to wipe, advanced wipe and select everything except micro SD card because Sun is about 14. And also gaps is present in the micro SD card. Just swipe to wipe. And also if you want to restore your current ROM, then you need to go to this restore option and select your backup here it will automatically detect but you need to wipe again everything then you can restore the current room so that it will work fine now go to the install option and then select micro sd card and now select cyanogen mode 14 and swipe to flash so it will take about 15 to 20 seconds after that press back and then install gaps so if you install 7.0 micro gap what will happen you will see next you will get an error by installing this micro gap many people face this issue in old custom roms also resurrection remix rom and sunage mode 30 sometimes it works sometimes it's not sometimes it failed so what do you have to do you have to download nano gaps so i've downloaded this nano gaps this nano gaps and install this because phone can't able to install the higher version gaps so this is the name of the gap you need to download also mentioned in the decision box so do not worry about all and then swipe to install this gap so after that installation just click on the wipe cache and delve cache and swipe to wipe now then press back 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 and then go to reboot and then system so device will take about 10 to 15 minutes for the booting first boot will take so much time and also the optimization of apps will run in background so it will not display on the screen that's why it taking so much time so it will combine with the boot logo and the boot logo is very similar to the old uh, standard mode 13 you can see it's similar to that but when official one will come then we will see that also so you can select your language here setup wizard is here it it a little bit lagging but do not worry about all that now selecting your language press next a setup wizard is similar to the previous custom roms so there's nothing new inside it and also you can select your wi-fi so both the sims are working fine sims are working dual sim is working wi-fi is working so everything is good now press start and then we are in the standard mode 14 wallpaper and ui is looking similar to standard mode 13 
but different in the notification drawer so in the quick setting you can see the quick setting already displaying on it and the animation is really smooth and good so you can turn it on wi-fi bluetooth or your mobile data just swiping once and then you can tap it on turn off the wi-fi turn it on again and turning on the mobile data by clicking it once so no need to swipe twice the notification drawer to open the quick tiles so it's really good thing and you can apply the battery saver mode from here directly no need to go to the settings extra and also clicking the edit you can reorganize that and you can drop new uh, quick tile from the downside there's the option here and then press back to save it also the app drawer is very similar to the previous science mode 13 the pixel launcher which is the google nexus launcher is not in it but you can install it manually yourself i also have that video link in the description box how you can install that now these are some suggestions in the setting that it will show you that you should use screen lock set up your voice change the wallpaper so the suggestion is really good thing that if we miss something then it will automatically display on the settings and we can apply that option let's see the android version also but from the left side we can swipe and directly go to any option if we are in the setting in any option then we can swipe it so android version is 7.0 and nougat and uh, which is nice and which is the latest thing the first phone is coming with android nougat is the lg v20 so no nexus device is coming with the android nougat it will come but uh, after the v20 lg v20 is already launched and this is the android nougat uh, which easter egg is some kind of tricky and different thus we need to collect some of the things like cats etc and also let's enable that developer option by tapping the build number seven times to see the root access is available or not just going into the developer option so here it is the root access and select that app only or apps and adb what you want and also turn on the usb debugging so let's see the ram memory how much get and we are getting around 464 megabyte memory free out of 1 gb so in the storage option we can see 397 mb used out of 2.21 gb means around 1.8 gb ram is free we are getting out of the 2.21 and also we can't able to make this micro sd card as an internal storage so everything is similar like display adaptive brightness ambient display and also the recent apps uh, in this uh, the cards are little bit larger than the previous rom and also the multi window and split window is working fine you can use whatever you want if you want to watch youtube video side by side using your facebook or whatsapp then it will work fine but it will look better in larger screens so motorola moto has small screen but uh, you can use this multi window or you can say split screen option from here the screen the camera is not supporting the split screen option but the camera photos is working fine the video recording is not working but we can take snapshot in it but in the next update if it is able to fix the video option video recording option then it will be a good thing google now tab is also working fine everything is working fine and also the animation everything is smooth no lag at all so we can double tap the recent app panel to switch between two recent apps fast so this is all about installation of science mode 14 so thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up and subscribe the channel for more videos if you already haven't and if you have any queries about this video just you can put them in the comment box also let me know in the youtube card section that do you like this science mode 14 or you like this science mode 13 so that's it guys thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video